In this video, I'm going to be showing you settings to use if you're going to be editing Instagram videos. So I'm going to cover both the square video as well as the vertical video. Now, I just opened up Filmora and this is the welcome screen. And if you look on the top here, there is uh, a section that says aspect ratio. You want to click that drop down before you start a new project. Click that drop down and this is where we're going to have our different aspect ratios. Right. So in this example, we're going to start off by uh, let's 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 uh, set up uh, uh, settings for an Instagram uh, square videos. So this is going to be a one by one aspect ratio. So I'm going to select that and once you select that, you want to create a new project. So hit new project. All right, cool. So now we have our project here. Now, if you want to change your layout, go ahead and do that. So sometimes what I like to do is you can go to layout mode and you can change uh, this to all types of uh, layouts here. So you can do short video layout mode. This will give you a player for the short video. I like this layout a lot. Now, before you start adding media and things like that, importing media, you want to go ahead and go over to file and you want to go ahead and select our project settings here. OK, now this is going to be your project settings. All right. So as you can see, we're, we've already set up, set up the aspect ratio um, and the resolution is 1080 by 1080, which creates that square video for Instagram. Now, the only thing left to change here is going to be uh, the frame rate. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to 30 FPS. Right. And um, if it's a video that has a lot of graphics, so if you're making kind of like a cinematic video that, you know, has a lot of color correction, that has a lot of things going on, you can go ahead and do 60 FPS. But 30 FPS should work for all other videos. Now let's just do 60 FPS uh, just to make this um, uh, nice here. Now the color space, uh, I always leave the default and go ahead and hit OK. All right, cool. So now that we have set up our project settings, as you can see, I forgot to show you here, there's an option to save this as default. So if you only create Instagram videos that are have an aspect ratio of one by one, you can save this as a default so that every time you open for more, you are going to have uh, these settings here as uh, your project settings, right? As your default project settings. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. So once you have this, I'm going to go ahead and import my videos. So you can hit import and you're going to import your videos in here. For this example, I'm going to use some of the stock media here. I'm going to go over to the partners, uh, Pexels, and I'm going to look up a uh, car. Let's go ahead and select that. And I'm going to select, uh, let's pick one of these uh, cool videos here. We're going to pick, uh, let's do, um, we could do uh, probably... Let's do this video here, right? I've used this one before, this one right here. Okay, this one, I'm gonna drop this on the timeline. All right, so this is gonna pop up here. So this is essentially asking you if you want uh, to match, if you want uh, the project settings to be matched to the media, right? Because sometimes the videos that you're importing into Filmora are not always gonna match your project settings. Now, the point of, of, of uh, setting those project settings was that you want the videos to follow the project settings. So uh, you wanna go with the right, the option on the right here that says keep project settings. So go right ahead, uh, keep project settings. Now this is gonna keep your project settings here. As you can see, we have our uh, video here. So you can see this video wasn't originally a square video, but they're fitting it within uh, this here. Sometimes what I like to do, you can even you know zoom in here if you want want to make it fill out the you know this um this square uh, area here. Okay. Now this is going to be your area here that is going to be exported if you export the video. So I go ahead and hit export. All right, let's say I finished editing my video. Now this is where you are. You can update your uh, export settings or pretty much everything is already set, right? So on the preset here, you want to go ahead and just select match project settings, right? Now, if you want to, you know, tweak it up a little bit and uh, change it up a little bit, you can go over to settings and these are going to be your settings that you set up when we're setting up our project settings here. Now here you can change things like the bit rate, uh, color space, uh, compression quality, you know, you can change all those things if you want to do that, or you can just go ahead and hit a uh, higher quality. This is going to uh, change some of these here, like uh, some of these things here, like uh, the bit rate. You can also change uh, the audio settings here, right? But you know, in terms of the video itself, these are pretty much going to be set with uh, you know when you set up your project settings. Go ahead and hit apply, and uh, go ahead and hit export. And once you export this video, this is going to be a square video, right? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this, see if I can find the video. 
as you can see, this is our square video here. Okay. Now I want to show you another option here, which is going to be to how to, uh, you know, create a vertical video. So obviously you can, um, let's go ahead and exit out of this. So we can just restart from here. When it comes to the aspect ratio, you want to go ahead and select a uh, nine by 16, which is called portrait. That's what it's labeled as. So go ahead and hit that, create a new project here. Uh, as you can see here, we have our portrait mode here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and grab, uh, you know, you can do the same thing here, go over to project settings, and this is where you're going to be able to do that. You do that. You're going to see that your project settings are, you know, nine by 16 and the resolution is 1080 by 1920, right? Uh, you can change the frame rate here if you wish to do so. Okay, cool. Now you can import your videos here and add on the timeline. So I'm going to uh, pick a video from here. So I'm going to do, let's say, let's pick a portrait mode video here. I'm going to pick one of these here. Like, uh, let's do, let's do a full screen video. So a full video. So you guys can see this here and we'll do a portrait video. So you're going to have this option again, go ahead and hit, uh, keep project settings, right? So this is our portrait video. So this entire area is going to be imported. It's going to be exported when we export our video. So let's go ahead and just try this here, this portrait mode video, right? So you can see this fills out this entire thing here, right? Cause it is a portrait video and it's going to fit within uh, this here. So this is how you're going to be able to export uh, these uh, vertical videos in Filmora. So that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one.